Dust in Your Face is so much more than a song right here in Sweet CNC because we have been waking up every morning now to an incredible haze, as would have been mentioned when we first started this morning. Joining us to just delve into this conversation and also share with us how we can protect ourselves is no stranger to this show, Dr. Joanne F. Paul, a lecturer in emergency medicine with the University of the West Indies. Good morning, Dr. Paul. Hi, Natasha. Nice to see you. I it's know that's the mm -hmm. <laughs> It's wonderful to see you as well. And yes, dust in your face. I'm not sure if you were able to catch some of the images and the video that well, Rockus had shared of what was going on around the Queen's Park Savannah. And it seems like no matter where we go, we are seeing this. And the EMA has an advice that this is an unhealthy air quality index. So, Dr. Paul, what can we do to protect ourselves? I think before we think about what we can do, great question. I think once we understand how the Sahara dust is, so it's coming through, it's a matter of how heavy or light it is. Of course, it's really heavy right now. So the effects are determined by that. And in addition, what chemicals you have. So you'll find sometimes, like with this set, it might affect different types of people. And then another set, maybe next few months, it might affect another set because it might have iron, manganese, different chemicals. So it's really variable. So all of you might get affected last time. This time you might be affected. You might be like, why me now? It's just because it's different, right? Mm -hmm. And then the third thing is if it's the, the mixture of coarse and fine. So once you understand that, you understand the effects. So the coarse, the coarse particles are like the ones that make you allergic. So it's like if you go into a blast of, of, of um, dust, right? And your eyes are streaming, your um, nose uh, is running, and your mouth is just caked with dust, etc. And you're coughing, and you have a sore throat, and that's a coarse particle. So, of course, you know the things to do will be, um, for instance, if you're having that, always have. I mean, always have your anti-allergy medication. There's non-drowsy and drowsy. You can have these eye drops, um, so like artificial eye drops, or just wash your eyes. Optrex. I think they used to use that long ago before I was born. And then, of course, the nasal um, sprays or the nasal drops just to clear your nose. And, of course, gargle with salt water just to clear your mouth per se for the sore throat. So that's the coarse particles. But then we have the fine ones that go into your lungs. And that's the issue. And those ones, when they go down, they make your lungs inflamed. And if you're asthmatic and if you have things like COPD, and even if you have heart conditions, once the lungs are inflamed, then it sort of put pressure on the heart and it makes the heart weaker. So once you have that, then it exacerbates that and that makes it much worse. But but just to add to it, right? I mean, nobody wants to add more to it, but guess what? It makes now viruses, the viruses, the same set viruses going around, it makes it worse. So if you get COVID or if you get influenza or RSV and you combine that with the lungs being inflamed with the fine particles, then you have more symptoms. So if you have a little bit of cough and you're like, oh yeah, I, I handle this virus, no problem. Once you go into that blast of Sahara dust, it triples the effect of it because there's two things combined. And suddenly you're congested, you're coughing, you're wheezing, you're worse than you were before because of the Sahara dust. So if you already have the virus, once you go out there, expect it will get exacerbated. And if the last thing to add to it is that if you already have your lungs inflamed with the virus and low Sahara dust, what will happen is that the virus, the, the bacteria will now sneak in because it's a nice fluid and it is all inflamed and it might make you prone to having a chest infection. So once you're away, so once you're having fever, you're not feeling right, just know that the two things combined can make you at risk of having a chest infection. And just to add to that, I know more more adding <laughs> the, the Sahara dust itself, right? It um it also traps the heat, so it makes you more prone to having heat disorders and heat exhaustion and feeling hotter. So those who are menopausal or just those who are partying for carnival, you will be now aside from plant breed, or you might be by having viruses, you also will be hotter and feeling drenched in the heat. So. To answer your real question, what can we do? Once we're aware of how it comes forth and we know what the symptoms are, we know what we can think about doing. So, of course, as I mentioned, if you're allergic with the coarse particles, try to have your, your anti-allergic medication and then all the drops to wash away the stuff. 
if you prone to, if you're asthmatic, make sure, make sure. Don't think, oh, you know, I'm a real hero here. Make sure you walk with your inhaler. Put it in your car. So if you're fine, if you're partying for carnival and you start wheezing, you have your stuff right there. Um, have your inhaler with the spacer. So, you know, usually adults, um, they think they don't need a spacer because they're like, adults, no. If you're wheezing like this with the fine dust particles, try to have your spacer with it. So you attach the inhaler with your space to come through. And of course, those with COPD might have the other um, inhaler to use. Um, and the other thing to use is also um, try to have your dust mask on or even right. a bandana. Yeah, that's really important. So, you know, before we were like, with, with, you asked me with viruses, do I need to have the, the mask? And I would say, if you're going to a blast of, of um, Sahara dust, have your mask on. I know you're trying to look pretty for carnival, and you don't want to really want to, uh, if you know, if you're the guy, you're all done, you, know, you, you went to your barber, you cut, you're looking real happening, you're on point. Who wants to wear a mask? But if you're going in there, wear a dust mask or your, your cute bandana to make sure you reduce that. Um, what you can do, before I go back to the planet a little bit, what you can do at home, you know, the, the trick is that they advise with the Sahara dust to have your windows and, and, and um, doors closed. But again, you don't want to be inside your house suffocating, right? And the, the whole thing is that with viruses, we actually want to have more ventilation. So it's like, what do you do? So I would say, try to, re to reduce the ventilation in your home. Try to be less outdoors. But the crux of it, if you're outdoors, don't go running outdoors. Um, go walking. And this adds the whole thing about carnival. If you're partying and you're in that dust, my major thing to say is, Keep your mouth closed while you're whining, all right? <laughs> um, don't be like, <laughs> don't be like, well, this, 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 this tune real hot, and you have your mouth open and you're sucking some yes. Sahara dust and you have coarse and fine, and then you'll be like, oh my God, I feel sick. Try to be, and don't, don't be running up and down, you know, just be moderate. Enjoy your fat, have your mask on if you need to. If you don't want to, um, if you're an adult and you think you can handle it, just keep your mouth closed and whine. Keep your mouth closed and whine, all right? Okay. But note the vulnerable ones, like the older people, the pregnant persons, and the children, I would recommend they have a mask on, definitely. Wow. Dr. Paul, all right. So thank you so much for that. Definitely a lot to ingest, but a lot of necessary information as well and some sound advice that many people do need when it comes to whining and other things throughout the carnival season. So really hoping that you have a great and a safe one, Dr. Paul. And again, thank you so much. Take care of yourself as well. And we'll see you soon on the Now Morning Show. Ciao, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Dr. Joanne Paul, lecturer in the emergency medicine with the University of the West Indies, talking about the dust that's been in our faces and is staying in our faces for a while. Stay tuned. We're back on the Now Morning Show right after this. <laughs>